Good morning, this is Jazzy, and we are kicking off She Represents. This is where we are going to highlight women in the community for just being good women, successful, doing things in the community, and we are going to highlight them on my show and also feature them in the Dallas Weekly. Today, my first selection is Miss Cynthia Trigg. She is the Chief Executive Officer and founder of Evolution Academy. Thank you so much for coming in. Thank you so much for having me. Yes. Yeah, so you are the uh, definition of a boss. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> That's yes. a pretty tall order. Yes, Thank but you. it's Thank amazing. You. And everything that you do is just absolutely amazing. So if you wouldn't mind telling us a little bit about Evolution Academy and why you started it. Okay, great. Evolution Academy Charter School um, was actually birthed out of um, the fact that I started as a school administrator and saw many kids... Um, fall in between the cracks, per se. And we said, what if we give a kid an opportunity mm -hmm. uh, with much flexibility mm -hmm. as possible, um, as much flexibility as possible, to really gain the credits that they were needing in order to move on and look for opportunities, um, college readiness, workforce readiness, along with military readiness. And mm -hmm. so we opened our doors in 2002, so this is Sweet 16, oh, wow. for the organization. Mm -hmm. um, we were fortunate to expand those offerings um, to other markets, our Houston area, and then Beaumont, which is home for me. Oh. So that was pretty special. Mm -hmm. So we are serving um, approximately... Um, 15 to 1,600 students a year. Wow. Um, unfortunately, we do have that high mobility rate um, of kids coming and going. Mm -hmm. um, those are the hard to reach, hard to teach sometimes, mm -hmm. along with um, those kids that are over age, undercredited. Mm -hmm. And we um, that's who we seek out purposely. Right. Right. We, we, we want to identify those students, um, get them enrolled, and um, get them on the way, um, a path to... Um, an, a great education along with um, just success and becoming a great citizen. Mm -hmm. And the school that you have here is at 1101 Sherman Street in Richardson, correct? Yes, it is. Okay. For the women out there listening, what made you decide to take such a huge leap from being a principal to actually going and creating your own school? Now you have three schools. I do have three schools, and, and as I shared before, it was um, seeing the, 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 the gap. When you have a thousand ninth graders enrolled in high school, yet only 300 are graduating, all of those students are not transitioning and moving and transferring. Mm -hmm. um, believe it or not, there are many kids that are just not attending school, mm -hmm. and so... Um, that was the the focus to really get those kids engaged um, back into a setting that um, wasn't um, as um, maybe traditional mm -hmm. as we would um, we would see in um, a public school, right. and then transition them on to other yeah, offerings. Other offers, yeah. Taking a look at where are you able to master mm -hmm. concepts and once you've mastered those or you've demonstrated mastery, then how can you move on mm -hmm. and not sort of stay put? And our kids like that concept. Yeah. Well, you've been in business for 16 years. You're also a mother. And how do you balance both? Listen, it takes a village. Yeah. <laughs> it, it does. Um, we, I, I, ha, I have, first of all, a supportive husband okay. that from the very beginning, um, we made a decision that this was a faith walk um, mm. for us. And um, we have um, two beautiful girls that um, luckily still listen to what we say. Yes. Yes. <laughs> so, that, so they make parenting easy, and we enjoy that aspect of it. Um, difficult, but not impossible. Yes. But again, and then just having um, those um, other visionaries and friends that are positive and totally encouraging and then always... Saying, you know, we got your back. Yeah. You know, so it, it definitely does take a village. Mm -hmm. And I um, 
I take that very seriously, and I don't take it for granted. Right. If the ladies are out there listening and they are inspired by you and your story of how you were an educator and now you own three different schools and you're a mother, you're balancing everything, what advice do you have for them? The advice that I would give is, first of all, develop a plan and don't let the naysayers tell you it's not possible. Individuals really thought I was probably a little crazy yes. for um, walking away from um, what would be considered during that time a stable you mm -hmm. know, environment. I was a principal. Um, I was moving up the, the, the chain. But I found that I wanted to do something different. I wanted to do something a little bit more edgy and innovative, but still stay in the educational realm. So mm -hmm. I just always say, don't let anyone tell you no. It, and it's not no, it's just maybe not right now. Uh -huh. Because there are obstacles that you're going to run into. Mm -hmm. But you have to keep pressing forward. You keep moving. Mm -hmm. And things just work itself out. Mm -hmm. um, and then there's just that thing called hard work. Yeah, absolutely. Hard work. You can't pass that one up either. Absolutely. So. Well, I just want to thank you so much for coming in and speaking with me today. Thank you and for having me. Yes, and you continue to be successful. If you're interested in... Um, signing your kid up or looking into Evolution Academy, how can someone get more information? Absolutely. We're located, again, in Richardson, Texas at 1101 South Sherman Street. Um, you can also visit our website at www.evolutionacademy.org where you can see all three campuses mm -hmm. and their offerings. Okay. Well, if you want to get more information about Miss Cynthia Trigg, you can with the Dallas Weekly because she will be featured on their website and, of course, on ours at thebeatdfw.com. Thank you. Thank you.